course, Jess isn't really expecting. She's wearing a pregnancy suit under her dress, which is going to help her help herself in this busy department store. Let's revive a little baby boy. Oh, he's a big boy. But who would suspect this handsome couple and proud parents to be? Feeling all right? As they enter the store, they make sure that the security guard on the door notices them. Let's buy you things to make you happy. Okay. The one you want. Button. Anything you want. Anything I want. Make you feel better. Are you treating me today? Yeah. I should think so. Jess can have whatever she wants because they don't intend to pay for a thing. I want some of this stuff for my legs. Oh, I need some. Uh... They wander through the store, filling the basket with whatever catches their eye. The more expensive, the better. That's expensive, that's good. That's good, that stuff as well. Do you want some fake tan? I don't need that, I'm Greek. <laughs> what? You're having it anyway. Is it expensive? Yeah. Yes, we're having it. There we go. No, we need to get a bag <laughs> to put everything in. But the must-have item on this shopping trip is a handbag. The scam couldn't work without it. What do you think of this? Yeah, it's perfect. It's good length, isn't it? Yeah. In it goes. Oh, yeah. Let's try to it. Oh. How heavy is baby pole? Oh, I think there's two baby poles in here. Little baby pole. Now for the next stage of the scam. Under cover of the basket, Alex transfers all the loose items they've chosen into the empty handbag. It's once. It's time for Jess to put that pregnancy bump to good use. So why don't you sit down here? She takes the load off her feet in this secluded corner to try on some comfortable shoes. Well, these might be a bit too. What she's actually doing is attaching the handbag filled with goods to a harness under her dress. Before setting off for the shops, Alex helped Jess into her elaborate disguise. First, the harness around the waist. Second, the bun in the oven. The handles of the handbag are attached to a clip dangling from the harness. And the long, floaty pregnancy dress hangs off the bump and covers the bag. Yeah, they are. No, these are way too big. Back in the store, Jess decides gold plimsolls are not her thing and then waddles towards the exit. With the stolen goods hidden under her dress, it's tough for Jess to walk normally. But the pregnancy suit is the perfect cover and seems to have everyone convinced. When you're due next week. Were you having it home or uh... I'm having a home bear. Well, good for you. Thank lovely. you very much. It's a brave one, this one. <laughs> Thank I you. suppose you've got a fortnight off work, haven't you? Oh, yes, yes. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm going to be. <laughs> You've got more time off than I am. <laughs> oh, <that's... laughs> Take care. Now for the moment of truth. Jess and Alex have to somehow smuggle the bag full of tagged items past an alarm and a security guard on the door. These are nice, aren't they? Mm -hmm. I like those colours. How are they going to pull it off? Alex takes a fancy to this shirt. Alex, do you mind if I just walk out? You're not well. But Jess has suddenly come over all faint. Breath of fresh air. I don't feel well. You're right. No. How are you feeling? I feel You're right. Really oh, angry. sorry, mate. Sorry. She needs to some air. The worried couple exit the store and the security guard assumes it was the shirt in Alex's hand that set off the alarm. He has no idea that hundreds of pounds worth of goods are making a 